Hello friends. Today we will see how to implement the popularity routing in Angular. So in case uh, where we suppose we have a, one requirement to show something on the sidebar, we can make use of auxiliary routing and uh, using that, using that named routing also sometimes we call it because we will give we will give a name to that router outlet basically and there we will be rendering the content for the sidebar so this is one example so let's uh, see it in action first so once we we'll go to the contact us page there you can see uh, like we have following evlli items here and on click of each item we can show the details at the right side so let's click on this and you can see the map is being loaded here based on the link. The site will be showing the content of India or you see if you click Mississippi, the map will be showing the address of Mississippi or something else, whichever we will select from the left side or from the main content that will be rendered in the site. So as you can see, it's not refreshing the page and not changing the route basically, but it's appending something with the route here. You can see. So if we click home page and then come to the context, see we don't have anything in the route. Now if we click here, something gets added here. So let's come to the code and we'll see. So here. What we have in the app component simply have our navigation here and we have the router outlet that is the primary or main router outlet and we have one outlet here also that's the named outlet and the name of the outlet is site right so now let's go to the routing page the routing configuration here in this configuration what we have basically we have home page contact page product page and with that contact page we have another configuration on the same path as you can see the main page of the contact component is on the contact path also we have defined another component that's in the same path but in this in that case we have defined the outlet as the sidebar the name of the outlet we have just seen right so this will be rendered in the sidebar outlet so that's one thing that's now working perfectly as we have already seen this but uh, as you know since we have same path we we will not be uh, navigating to the uh, to any new uh, URI, right? So since this is the same path, so we will have to have something special, right? So Angular provides this syntax. So we are saying the sidebar is contact. So in that case, the this sidebar is getting loaded. Now, another thing here, there's a problem if we move to the any other route using the normal router link, say I remove this and I just place here for let's see how this will work. So here you will see uh, that whenever we are on this route, when we have this sidebar in there and you will click on this home page you can see this is also existing there and the reason is it's showing there but that's not the expected behavior we only want the sidebar to be displayed on the contact page so here we need to change the router link like this so this is the one i find so far for the solutions we have to define the primary route here and then we have to say the sidebar is now so that's the way we can resolve this issue as of now so that's all for this 
video so we have just seen how to render something in the sidebar using auxiliary named route so hopefully it will be helpful to give you some idea about auxiliary routing thanks for watching this video if you like this please uh, give me uh, your comment in the comment section please subscribe and share this video thank you